Hello, my name is Wojtek and today I want to talk about my new tool for Godot designed to create octahedral imposters of 3D models. So firstly, uh, I want to explain what these imposters really are. So simply put, these are improved billboards for 3D models. You put them in the background, far from camera to save performance. Probably you recognize those images. Okay, so the idea behind impostors is to capture the object from a variety of view angles and store them to a texture. So in the game you can use a single plane and based on a camera and object position you can calculate which image to show. You can read more in the article linked below the video. Okay, so how would you use this tool? So when you first time open the project, you can see this 2D view. So first thing you need to do is to go to the 3D view and select the model you want to bake. So as you can see, you have this tree and we don't really want it. So we select it and we really delete this node. Okay, and then we need to select our new model to bake and the best will be if it will be in a TSCN uh, Godot scene format. So I prepare this tree. I place it in bake container. Okay, I need a moment. And uh, this is our model we want to bake. And uh, the thing is that it should need to be in the center. So you need to have the 3D model geometric center in the world origin. So I think it looks okay. And now we can start our project. Okay, uh, as you can see, we have our model in the viewport, but our model needs to fit in it. So it's too big right now. And we can change that by uh, modifying this camera size value. Basically, if we take it into perspective mode, it's just the distance from the camera to the 3D model. So I place it 1.5, it's still too small, so maybe 1.8. Okay, and if your model is too big, uh, too high or too low, you can always reposition it in a Godot. Okay, so the next parameter is a grid size and it basically describes how many pictures and from how many angles um, they will be taken. So if we set up it as 16, uh, the Godot will take 16 by 16 images, so a total of 256 images. And uh, image resolution describes how big our results actually will be. So if our image resolution is 4K and we have a grid size of 16, uh, each of image will be ha will have 256 by 256 pixels of size. I would recommend to leave it at 4K for PC and go for 2K or even 1K for mobile. The parameter use full sphere is useful when we need to view our 3D model from the bottom. Uh, so, if we have uh, trees, bushes, or other uh, nature stuff like that, uh, we should leave this parameter unchecked uh, because it increases the resolution of the images taken from the side views. So, yeah. The next parameter is a generate standard shader. It describes uh, it selects the standard shader, which have a few more options compared to the light version. And uh, in short, uh, it allow to have a casting shadow from our model. It also brings RM textures, so uh, roughness and metallic textures. Uh, and uh, it uses a depth generated texture to create this illusion of a 3D object. And we can export our packed, export uh, our model as a packed scene. 
So it's on. It's not only we create the images uh, for our shader, but also it creates a simple scene with a plane and shader applied already to it. Okay. So now the thing we need to do is to click generate and wait. It will take about a minute or even longer if you have a slower PC. see what we just generated so you need to go to the uh, export images folder and open imposter TSC and file okay and that's our imposter we can view it from many angles okay let's add some environmental preview so that we can view it's but in better lightning okay our imposter is a little bit too low so let's bring it up okay and right now it looks like this maybe we'll bring our real model and compare it with the back one okay wait a moment maybe let's move it to the left okay so on the left is our baked model and on the right is original 3D model. So of course we can improve a little bit. We go to the shader parameter of our imposter and we can change some PBR specific parameters like albedo, specular, metallic or roughness. We need to remember that those two uh, uses also textures, so they baked originally here. Imposter frames, this is the value which we provided in our baker, uh, so it will be set up uh, by it, so we don't really need to change it. Position offset is a useful parameter when we use, for example, a multi mesh instance, and we can't really change the position of our 3D mesh, but we need to modify its origin. So let's we'll go back to zero. Its full sphere uh, is the same parameter as in Baker, and it will be set up correctly. It's transparent, so this parameter actually enables the transparency pass. Uh, okay, so if we uh, turn it on. As you can see, our image looks a lot better. Uh, but as uh, a side effect, you can see our uh, image is too much transparent and we can see through it. And we can improve it by changing this alpha clamp value a little bit. So if we go a little bit lower, it won't be as transparent. And right now you can see our imposter really looks like original image. The con of this uh, approach is that um, it doesn't really go well with a depth buffer. So if you, for example, want forest, uh, sometimes the order of uh, 3D models will be a little bit off. So if we can, I would recommend to disable the transparency pass. So we, for example, leave it, it at this values. So it also looks pretty nice from a distance. I think you can't really tell the difference. Yeah, okay. And we have also other parameters like scale. So we can scale our texture. Uh, we can change depth uh, generated by our depth texture. So. Uh, you can modify it and of course we can influence our normal map depth so it just describes interaction with the light 
uh, of our baked texture. Okay, and this free below, these are just imposter textures generated in our baker, and they should be uh, provided automatically uh, in generated scene. So, if we take a look, how many vertices are in our imposter? and we need to disable origin and grid, we can see that we have only 12 vertices to generate our impostor. That's this really, really nice result. If we enable a um, transparency pass, it actually stay 12, but uh, <clears throat> it will depend on our um, environment. So. It can go a little bit higher. I, I think it, it will go mm -hmm. to about 36 vertices uh, in, in all passes. Okay, so compared to our uh, original model, which have uh, above 1 million vertices, uh, in my opinion, it's really great optimization. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you like it, maybe leave a comment, uh, maybe uh, <laughs> leave some issues on the GitHub or just create a push request uh, so you can improve this tool. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Mm -hmm.